happening everybody furious pete furious talks i got a question the other day i got it into my email um somebody asked me that they have a fear a fear of taking time off um they fear that if they take time off they're gonna lose all their gains all their strength all their muscle everything that they've worked so hard to get um it's completely normal if you're, I guess, new to the game and new to working out to think about this. Um, it's also, you know, that time of the year, the, the New Year's resolution time where a lot of people are just getting back into the swing of things sometimes. And, you know, taking time off right away is not necessarily on their mind. However, that being said, um, if you have been training for a while, I'm taking this, this is just on the side note. If you have been training for a while, January is probably one of the best times of the year to take some time off, take a week or two off, because those gyms are packed. Those gyms are not that fun to be in sometimes during the resolution period of, uh, of a lot of people. Um, but going back to everything, if you have been training, I don't know if my voice just cracked there, I'm pretty sure it just did. <laughs> If you have been training uh, for quite some time now and you know you've made some gains you've gained 10 pounds of muscle let's say uh, over the last six months and you feel like you're exhausted you feel like you spend too much time in the gym uh, not enough time with friends or want to go on vacation but you're you're just so scared that all those gains are gonna go away well then my friend I have a couple things to say to you a number of positive things to say to you. One is muscle memory. So basically, if let's say you lose muscle, you lose you lose weight uh, during your time off, your muscles, for whatever reason, have a little brain of their their own. No, that's not true. But we're just gonna we're just gonna, have, for simplicity purposes, we're gonna just say. The little muscles that we have have little brains and they remember that you had muscle and scientifically for whatever reason and this has happened to me time and time again i bounce back much faster when i go to the gym i bounce back way way faster i you know get back to my normal self get back to my normal strength twice or three times as fast as I would uh, when I just started. So that is positive thing number one. Number two is recovery time rest. Um, when we are talking about muscle gain, um, we always need to remember a certain formula that about, let's say, 75% of your gains come from nutrition. 10% from training. Let's start over. 80% from nutrition. And we will include supplements within nutrition. Not vital for gains, but we will put that into there. 80% nutrition, 10% uh, rest, and 10% uh, training. What you do in the gym. So 80% is a big component, of course. Um, but sometimes, sometimes that nutrition aspect isn't as, well, it's important, but sometimes it becomes like 70% as important for your gains. And that rest part right there becomes very important. Sometimes the training part is very important. It all depends on genetics, uh, the way your body works. Some people have uh, insane genetics that no matter what they eat, uh, no matter how they train, and no matter how much they rest, they will get amazing results. However, there's some of us that, you know, we will plateau because we simply haven't rest enough. Rest is key to rebuilding fibers within your muscles. If you go uh, to the gym and you do chest seven days a week, you are constantly just tearing up muscle. There's no way you're going to be able to build up an entire huge chest unless you have rest. You don't give your body enough time to take in the protein that you're eating, 
to rebuild all those fibers in your body to gain size, to gain strength. So rest is key, very, very important to getting any sort of gains in the gym, any sort of strength, weight, even when we're talking about weight loss, rest is key because to get uh, shredded abs, to lose fat, we need to make sure that we have that muscle in order to burn more calories. So going back to that question, do you, are you, should you be scared to take a week off? No, I encourage it. I take weeks off all the time, sometimes unplanned because of how I travel and you know, sometimes there just isn't um, a place to work out. And sometimes I just know that if I do take that week off, I'm going to come back with a bang. And I'm going to become more excited because sometimes we just become more mentally exhausted in the gym. I hope this, you know, touches home to a lot of people, you know, because I know that a lot of people overtrain and become just sick of the gym, bored of the gym. I think a lot of my friends did that and they just, I, I think I'm the only one out of my friends except for one that still goes to the gym. So, um, yeah, you know, you, you have to make sure that you still stay excited and that taking time off is just the best thing for you sometimes. So do it. Schedule it. You don't need to do it every month, but schedule it so that it doesn't happen once every 10 years. All right, my friends? Let me know if you guys have any questions. Always happy to answer. Hashtag Ask Furious. Ask Team Furious. If that works. Or just tweet at me, message me, write me emails, so on. Catch you guys next time. Hope you guys are doing well. Stay dedicated for life. And of course, stay with me, my friends. Stay sexy, stay hungry, and get laid.